Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, write XPath by using contains function. Let me answer. First of all, this contains function belongs to XPath language. Okay, in XPath language, there are different functions. Contains function is one of them. So using contains function, we can locate the elements, okay, using the partial text, okay, which is constant, which is not changing text, okay. Whatever the portion of the text which is not constant, which is uh, changing dynamically or uh, due to some XYZ reasons it is changing, we'll exclude that text and remaining text which is constant, okay, that we'll use okay, to locate the elements with the help of contains function. This text which is constant can be in the beginning of the text. This contents, uh, constant text can be in between of the text, okay? Or it can be at the end of the text. No matter where it is, we can use a contents function to locate the element with that constant text out of this entire text. Some portion of the text is, uh, you know, dynamic, some portion of the text is context, okay? No matter where the context text is inside this text, we can locate the elements. Fine, next one is attribute value, okay? So, you know, when you inspect an element, uh, it will contain different attributes with different values. For example, if you want to locate the element by using the value of a particular attribute of that element, and if that particular value contains some changing, okay, something that is changing every time you refresh or today it's there, tomorrow it's changing or something like that, whatever it is. It has some constant thing, constant value, but some other portion is not constant. In that case also, wherever the constant value is there in that entire value of this attribute, okay, it may be in the beginning, middle or end, we can use contains function of the X path. Let me practically demonstrate so that everything will be clear for you. First, I'll go with the text, okay? And uh, for that, I'll take you to some sample application that is omai.blogspot.com. And on this application, you see there is practice automation here. Assume that, assume that, okay, this automation here is going to you know, change, okay? So it's not a constant thing. Uh, tomorrow practice selenium here may come, okay? We don't know. Some portion of the text is uh, constant, that is practice is constant, which is in the beginning, fine? So in that case, if I inspect this, and if you have to locate it carefully, we have to locate it, okay? Why? Because tomorrow, this particular automation here changes to selenium here, then things will change, okay? So how to locate this control F? With the help of the text, I want to locate. So I'll simply say double slash P contains. I'll use contains here, okay? If I use text, if I, for example, instead of contains, if I use text is equal to practice automation, so practice automation here, uh, okay? And press enter. You see it's locating, but tomorrow, let's say this particular text got changed a bit. Okay, let's say tomorrow this particular text has uh, changed a bit. Where is that edit option? Okay, so let's say instead of selenium here, selenium here also I'll change 143 or something. I'll say change. Okay, temporary change, yes. Uh, no need to worry much. This is a temporary change. So in this case, if I say practice automation here, it's not locating. Why? Earlier it was practice automation here. Now this portion has changed because of the things are not working out. So what if I use contains here? Contains function. And uh, first of first argument of this contains function is uh, this text function. And put a comma here and close here. Okay. Now I'll keep only the constant value that is not changing. Okay. Practice selenium 143 in practice uh, automation here. Practice is constant, which is not changing. So practice only I'll keep. And remaining this portion, I'll remove, okay? Contains text practice. No matter what text it will change, it doesn't matter. For example, here again, if I edit practice, okay? Software testing, okay? Like this. Still, it will locate. No problem, it will still locate because this practice is constant. Whether this practice is in the beginning or in the middle, in the end, doesn't matter. For example, if I edit this like this, okay? Again, if I edit and I'll say 
uh, I'll move this practice to the end, okay? Still no problem, it will locate because practice is somewhere in this text, okay? Contains will work something like that, okay? Contains the text, practice. If this element contains the, uh, contains the text, practice, either in the beginning, middle, or the end. Now I'll move it to the middle. I'll show you one more thing. It'll, I'll move this part to the middle. Still it will locate, you see? Still it is locating. It should contain practice text, okay? So this is the purpose of the contains function with the text and I'll show you the same thing with the attribute value with one example. This is a temporary change, guys. Refresh it, everything will go off, okay? And uh, I'll get back to the original things, practice automation here. So uh, I'll take you to the Facebook application and uh, just see here, there's a login button, inspect this. Inspect this, when you inspect that, uh, you see, I would like to locate this login button with the help of this ID. I'll copy this ID and uh, I would like to locate this element and I'll simply say control F double slash uh, button at the rate ID is equal to, I'll give that value. Now it will locate, no problem, it will locate. Okay, this time you see, this HTML is getting highlighted and when I hover here, this is uh, highlighting this login button, so everything is fine. Now, if I refresh the page, you see, before refreshing here at the last two uh, characters, you see here uh, the value of this ID attribute plus plus are there. Now refresh here, they change. Now plus plus is not there, some vivo came. Okay, u underscore zero underscore pi is same. Control of you see, u underscore zero underscore pi underscore is same, up to underscore is same, but last two letters vivo instead of that plus plus is there. That's the problem. Now it will not locate. Because this is not constant. Only this portion is constant. This constant uh, can be in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Okay. And if you use contains function, it doesn't matter where it is. Okay. Contains. The first portion is at the rate ID, comma. And here, provide circular bracket. And remove this thing that is changing. Only keep the constant. No, ma no matter how many times you refresh whatever the last two characters are coming, doesn't matter. It will still locate, you see, it will still locate. This is going to work, okay? So like that, guys, okay? This constant can be in the beginning, middle, or at the end. That's doesn't uh, same thing that applies with the text, whatever the text I covered, right? Here with attribute also, you can use contains function. So hope, guys, you got a detailed idea about how to use contains function in XPath expressions, okay? And what is its purpose? Uh, so let me just... Uh, make it more better, write XPath by using contains function, okay? Fine, so this is how we have to write the XPath expressions using the contains function, okay? So that's all for this session, thank you, bye.